thanks for joining us former cameroon football player muhammadu idriso has been accused of being an absence absentee father that's an accused of being a runaway father of two children few days ago a video surfaced online of a young girl called hilary revealing that muhammadu idriso is a runaway father another man also suppressed on social media claiming to be the son of idriso and he said idriso abandoned him while leaving cameroon club ra raising of bamenda the young lady stated that hello dad i hope you're doing well merry christmas i'm making this video because i see controversy on the internet and everything i just want peace and all i want is having my daddy and my father back hugging my daddy just for once and even if afterwards you decide to go back to your corner because i've been feeling really bad since the last time i contacted you and uh, there was a little problem i don't know what problem you had with my mom and it's none of my business because i'm grown up now but the problem does not involve the kids and despite everything you are my father and I would like to tell you that I love you despite everything. The former Cameroonian international player bluntly denied this accusation and denied these two children that they don't belong to him. Of course, we are ready to be digging deep in the days ahead to see what comes out of it. If the mother of these two children are going to go, maybe do a DNA test and bring proof that uh, Muhammadu Idriso is the father to these two children. But whatever be the case, we will not hesitate to bring you updates. On this note, we talk how a man by name, Siri Waters, has been, ar has been arrested in Douala, that's literal region of Cameroon, for attempting to rape a 13-year-old daughter, his own stepdaughter. He was arrested on December 30th, 2022, and the attempted rapist was picked up by the forces of law and other in Douala. The man had attempted sexually abuse the daughter on several occasions and the partner discovered and warned him. Report has it that the mother of this young girl once discovered this act and the man cried out for forgiveness and pleaded that he would never repeat such act again. It was, however, thanks to the confession of the 13-year-old girl during investigation and, of course, some medical tests which were also carried out, which shows that the man did this act. Of course, the man has been arrested and taken to the Bepanda Gendarmerie in Douala. So we say thank God and thanks to the forces of law and other for making sure that people who practice this barbaric things should be held responsible and punished accordingly so we thank them so much for making sure that this man the corporate does not go unpunished and we thank god for saving the life of this 13 year old daughter so to all parents out there be watchful of where and what your daughter is doing because you don't know what is happening so always pay close attention to the activities which is being performed by your daughters thank you so much let's take you on our african page for today